Hello friends, welcome to G-Centric. So in this lecture, we will move on to the singularity functions. So singularity functions, they are nothing but basically signals. Okay, so we have got impulse, step, ramp and parabolic. Only these four signals are very useful in the network theory. So rest of the signals which are mainly important will come in the signals and system. Okay, so now coming to the first one, that is the impulse function, we have got we can define this function and denote it by del of t ok. So this is nothing but we have okay, okay, 0 for t less than or equal to 0 ok. So not equal to t less than 0 we have 0 and infinite for t equal to 1 ok and also 0 for t greater than 0 ok. So, at this point at point 1 we have the value of the impulse function as infinite or we can draw this graph in this way del of t and this is t. So, this area the area bounded by it is infinite. So, this magnitude can be anything from varying from 1 to infinite ok it goes on. So, this is the graphical representation you can see for rest of the thing it is 0 t less than 0 it is 0 and t greater than 0 also it is 0 ok. So, coming to the step signal function that is nothing but the unit step ok. So, for this it is denoted by u of t. So, now this also we can define it as 0 for t less than 0 ok it is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and 1 by 2 at t is equal to 1 ok. So, this is using Gibbs phenomenon we will see the graph for this. So, if y axis represents the unit step function this is the time axis ok. So, it for t less than 0 it is 0 and 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So, at this point it will be half ok at point t, but we will not uh, denote it most of the cases we will not use this ok. So, this is the representation graphical representation of the unit step function. Suppose if the coefficient is something else 2, 3 or something then we will write here k ok here it will be k, k into 1. So, it will if the magnitude of this length uh, this will be 2 on the y axis then it will be 2 times of u of t ok. So, coming to the next signal ramp which is denoted by r of t ok. So, it is nothing but 0 for t less than 0 and t for t greater than or equal to 0. So, how it will be the graph for this one if this is r of t and this is t it is a straight line passing through the origin ok straight line passing through the origin. For this also same thing if the coefficient is given then you can put the coefficient. Coming to the parabolic function it is denoted by p of t and it is defined as 0 for t less than 0 and t square by 2 for t greater than or equal to 0. So, its graph will be this is p of t and this is t in this form ok. So, this is nothing but this slope gives its magnitude ok. Sorry, slope gives its coefficient. It is a straight line. So, you can find the uh, slope of the straight line using y is equal to mx plus c. So, these are the main four functions which will be very helpful in the network theory ok. Now, in this case if I write del of t second one is u of t third is r of t fourth one is parabolic function. So, when you move from impulse to the parabolic it will be integration ok. Then if you move from parabolic to impulse it will be differentiation ok. So, the integration of del t will give you unit step function and the integration of unit step will give you ramp function. Similarly, if you differentiate 
parabolic function you will get ramp and if you differentiate ramp function you will get unit impulse. So based on this we will see few problems on how the singularity functions will be helpful in solving the network problems. Okay? So we will move on to the problem. Okay, coming to this question a waveform is given which is of the voltage waveform voltage across 1 farad capacitor is shown. Okay, so, this is the voltage waveform of the capacitor which has got the value of 1 farad. So, we have to determine the current and its waveform, power and its waveform and energy and its waveform. So, now if you see here this is the origin. Okay. So, now from here 0 to 1 we have positive ramp then from 1 to 2 we have negative ramp. Okay. So, now we can divide this also in two portions from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 2. Okay, so, this time axis can be divided. So, once we get this triangular waveform for the behavior from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2, the rest of the waveform will be similar to that type. Okay, so, first we will determine the waveform, okay, uh, sorry, the voltage across from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. So, 0 to 1 and from 1. <coughs> 1 to 2. Okay. So, now from the voltage from 0 to 1 is what is the voltage from 0 to 1? It is nothing but ramp signal. So, you will get T which is equal to T. Now, coming to this from 1 to 2 how will you find it? How will you find the equation for that? So, for that you have got straight line equation m x plus c. Okay. So, if it is m x plus c then how do you find the slope? It is nothing but directly I can write minus t plus 2, but how did this equation come? Take the two points okay, here, this point is nothing but 1 comma 1, this point is nothing but 2 comma 0. So, m is equal to y2 minus y1 then x2 minus x1. So, if you take any of this x1 y1 x2 y2 then you have got 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. The slope you got it as minus 1. Now, what is V? V is nothing uh, sorry what is Y? It is nothing but V of T. You have minus 1 has slope. The x axis is nothing but T plus intercept is 2. So, what is the answer? V of T is equal to minus T plus 2. So, this is how you find the equation for that straight line. Okay? So, the voltage across from 1 to 2 is minus T plus 2. Okay, so now, we got we got the voltage. So, we will find the current across the capacitor. So, what is the formula of capacitor? V of t will be not, uh, sorry i of t is c into d v of t upon d t. So, here also the first equation sorry for the first question. So, i of t is equal to c into d v of t upon d t. So, we have the value of v t substituted we have the value of capacitor also it is 1 and differentiation of t is again 1. So, here i of t will be equal to 1 into differentiation of minus t is minus 1. So, you will get minus 1. Okay. Second power and its waveform. Okay. So, for, for calculating the power we have p of t is equal to v of t into i of t here also p of t is equal to v of t into i of t. Okay. So, now we know v of t that is t current is 1. So, we will get t. Here also we have v of t as minus t plus 2 the current is minus 1 then we will get t minus 2. Okay. So, next for the third we have to calculate the energy stored. So, here the energy stored will be okay, I will write it W of t half C V square here also W of t will be half C V square. Okay. So, this is the formula for calculating energy it is nothing but half C is given as 1 V of t is t square. So, I will get t square by 2. Here half into 
1 into v of t is minus t plus 2 whole square. So, half of t square plus 4 minus 2t, sorry 4t, ok. So, this is t square by 2 plus 2 minus 2t, ok. So, we have got the waveform uh, values for current, power and energy. So, now we will draw the waveform, I will rub this. So, for the uh, drawing the waveform, we will draw the, we will extend this y axis and we will take here x axis, we will take 3 x axis. Okay, so, this will be for current i of t, this will be for power p of t and this will be for energy that is w of t. Okay, so, these are the 3 waveforms we will draw now. So, for that we have got for the current the value is 1. So, this is 1 ok from here. Next we have got minus from from 1 to 2 seconds. So, if here it is if here it is we have got minus 1 then it will go on repeating ok. So, this is the waveform for the current. So, coming to the power we have got t from 0 to 1 second. Okay. Then next for 1 to 2 we have got t minus 2, put t we will get minus 1, okay. it will go down, then put 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, again it will go in this way, for 2 it is 0, it continues. Okay. So, this is the symbol for power, sorry waveform for power and this is current. Coming to the energy, t square by 2, this is nothing but the parabolic equation, t square by 2, we have seen this signal, okay, that is from 0 to 1. Next, from 1 to 2, it is t square by 2 plus 2 minus 2t. So, put 1 here, 1 by 2, you will get 0, again 1 by 2, half, then put 2 again, 4, 4 by 2 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. So, you will get in this direction. So, the waveform will be like this for this is for energy ok. So, this is so this is sorry this is 1 0 to 1 this is 2 3 4 ok it continues on 1 we have got 2 3 4 5 ok. So, here also 1 2 3 4. So, you have to take the line in this way, I have missed that one ok. So, this is the this is how we solve the graphical problem. Next we will take one more problem based on the signal function ok. Coming to this question, the voltage across the one Henry inductor is unit impulse. Then find the energy stored in a conductor. So, what we have what is the formula for calculating the energy in the inductor? Half L i square ok. So, now the voltage is unit impulse that is del of t. So, for calculating this we have the value of L, but we do not have the value of i. So, what is the formula to calculate i? It is integration of 1 by L into V of t into dt ok. So, this is the formula to calculate the inductor sorry current through the inductor. Value of L is 1 then we have del of t as the voltage across the inductor into dt. So, now this integration of del of t is nothing but 1 that is because the area bounded by this across any limit given will be 1. So, this is the formula for it ok. So, whenever you integrate del of t you will always get 1 ok. So, now substitute the value of this i half into 1 into 1 it is half joules. So, this is the energy stored across the capacitor when impulse voltage is given to the inductor ok. So, this completes the singularity function problem. Next, we will move on to the steady state analysis. It is also nothing but the other name is AC circuit analysis ok. So, we will move on to the next lecture. Thank you.